Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to talk about a medical research article that was brought to my attention by my fan Magnus Rasmussen. Thank you very much. This article actually proves that chest expansion is possible even in middle-aged adults. Now the reason I keep bringing up the topic of chest expansion is because it is so important in the golden era style of the side chest pose as shown here wonderfully by Arnold. When you compare it to the modern bodybuilding side chest pose, the rib cage expansion is completely lacking, completely lacking. There is no showcasing of the rib cage. You can see that these modern bodybuilders, bloated as they are, are just tilting to the side and flexing, and that's about it. Whereas in the golden era version of the side chest poster shown by Arnold here, the magnificence of the rib cage is clear to see. The You can see Arnold is actually facing to the side as a side chest pose should be. He's flexing the arm, and more importantly, he has expanded the chest. You can see the slabs of pec on top of that, and you can see that the, the, the pose is just way more royal, way more aesthetic, way more magnificent. And without the rib cage um, being showcased, without uh, bodybuilders nowadays not having this this ability to expand their rib cage, now we have a completely morphed version, a deformed version almost of the side chest pose, and I, this is why I keep bringing the, chi the, the the side chest expansion topic up because it, I think it's it's something that's lacking in today's bodybuilding world. Now let's have a look at this particular article. So the title of this. Uh, research article which I actually uh, link onto the description of this video is titled Improved Chest Expansion in Idiopathic Scoliosis After Intensive Multiple Modality Non-Surgical Treatment in an Adult. The paper was actually published back in 2001 in the journal Chest and I've underlined the most important thing. So we have a, a patient who over an eight year period had a six centimeter increase, that's uh, basically two and a half inches in resting chest circumference, not even expanded, just resting chest. It's incredible. Uh, with the absence of weight gain, it's, so this is without any muscular growth, basically. No weight gain means no muscular growth. And anyway, this was a woman, a middle-aged woman, who wasn't necessarily a bodybuilder, just a patient with scoliosis. And so without any weight gain, she had a, a massive two and a half inch or six centimeter increase in the resting chest circumference. And expanded, it was actually three inches or seven and a half centimeters. Incredible. Let's have a look at, um, at other important, uh, I guess, facts that I read in this particular research article. So one of the interesting facts that I found in the introduction of this research article is that it actually talked about how young adults themselves can gain um, well over a centimeter uh, of chest um, circumference in just over six weeks using physical therapy uh, and of course this also this is for patients young adults uh, being uh, referred to young adult patients with idiopathic scoliosis um, the advantages of this increase of half an inch just over uh, six weeks was an increase in vital capacity which is basically the volume of, of air in your lungs. I mean I don't want to get too technical about the actual definition of vital capacity but basically it means that you have a greater uh, capacity of having air in your lungs. Um, what would this mean for a bodybuilder, for a young bodybuilder? Let's say a bodybuilder between the age of 16 to uh, 25. Well that if you were to practice uh, the exercises that lead to chest expansion, such as the breathing squat and dumbbell pullover, you would easily gain at least a centimeter or half an inch, even up to an inch, in just a month and a half. What what uh, gains would you would you get from this? Well, besides having an epic, an improved side chest pose, you would also increase the amount of air in your lungs. That basically, your lungs would actually also grow. Um, because you have a greater capacity of, of space in your rib cage, your, your lungs would most likely be more efficient and probably even grow, which would make you, I guess, even stronger and uh, prevent further, uh, for example, for prevent uh, respiratory infections. And overall, you would probably be just in, bed, in a better state of health simply because you are breathing more air. So um, I, I guess your workouts would also be way more efficient.
So the case report focuses on a 48 year old woman pictured here from the back and you can see the photo from A in, taken in 1993 in just over a, a two year period to 1995 in figure B you can see the massive increase already for example in her shoulder in her shoulder width just by doing the exercises that were prescribed for her as well as the increase in the chest circumference. Uh, here's a shot from the front taken from I believe 1995 to 1998 in, in picture D and you can already see that that collapsed chest that she had was greatly improved. Again these are just relaxed photos. So there's a great improvement improvement already in also in the in the um, in the appearance of the chest. It's not collapsed anymore. Finally, uh, these final photos taken uh, from 1995 all the way up now to 1999 show an, an even greater circumference, a total, as I said, of three inches uh, with the chest expanded. This is a rather phenomenal increase in chest uh, circumference for a middle-aged person understand that this is for middle-aged person. This is really incredible. Uh, let's have a look at the benefits to adults. So yes, so uh, I think this paper definitely establishes, um, positively establishes that, that although it takes years to expand a chest in middle-aged people, it is definitely possible. And here is a great figure from the actual article showing the increases over the years. Basically, you've got a one centimeter increase over the years or half an inch. Um, and I would guess that there is no stopping. I mean, it, well, there has to be eventually a plateau, but, but for a person that has not, I guess, practiced chest expansion, you can expect to see some pretty dramatic changes. Of course, the benefit to this particular patient showed an increase in vital capacity, so an increase in the ability to, uh, to breathe more air, and this overall led to a better state of health with decreased respiratory infections and pain from her from her uh, scoliosis. So the take home message from this particular article and this video is rather obvious. Adults, that is adults well in their 40s even, of course you, you can definitely expand your rib cage if you wish and this is especially useful for bodybuilding purposes. I'll leave you with this phenomenal shot of John Fabotnik. This is one of my favorite side chest poses of all time. Look at that rib cage. He's holding that vacuum perfectly and, and has those arms wedged in under the vacuum. In doing so, he contracts his softball-like bicep, his, his cannonball delta bursting out, and those slabs of peck meat on top of that wonderful rib cage just looks absolutely phenomenal. I love this shot of John Falbotnik. So if you wish to expand your rib cage, I'm also going to uh, link my videos onto this particular uh, video so that you can uh, see the methods that I've already described in previous videos. Hope you've enjoyed watching the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and leave me a comment. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.